Hi everyone, I'm Elijah Meeks, Principal Engineer here at Confluent. Today, I'm excited to walk you through the data exploration features in the Flink SQL Workspaces UI that lets you easily scan and summarize streams and tables created with our cloud-native Flink service on Confluent Cloud. If you're not familiar, Flink SQL Workspaces provides a simple interface for exploring, enriching, and analyzing data streams with Flink SQL similar to what you might see for batch-based SQL processing engines. With real-time interactive tables, you can easily understand the shape of those query results and uncover insights quickly without needing to write additional tedious SQL queries. The new interactive front-end allows you to quickly understand your data, explore and profile data efficiently, and conduct detailed analysis or troubleshooting directly through the UI, enhancing productivity and streamlining workflows for real-time data processing. Let's see how it looks in action. I have data from one of our sample data generators populating a topic that I'm going to query with Flink. My query includes the usually hidden dollar row time column because I want it to include a date time field. Once the query starts running and comes back with the results, you can see the rows update dynamically as it cycles through up to 5,000 rows from the topic in real time. Notice that each column has a histogram or bar chart showing the distribution of values across that column. That allows you to get some sense of the shape of each column and its skew and reveals interesting patterns like outliers and gaps in data. I'm gonna stop the query now and show off the rest of the functionality of our UI enhancements with the static results. All the features I'm showing work whether the query is running or stopped. So the first feature I wanna look at is how we plot distributions for each column. If I hover over the bars, I'll see the actual values for each bin or category. You can see that the histograms show the number of rows within a range, whereas the bar charts show the number of rows per category, with the remainder after the top 20 shown in an other category. For histograms, I can brush a region in the histogram and immediately filter the data to just the selected bins. I can also drag around the region, and I can directly input values into the generated filter, or I can input exact values using the filter icon on the column. You'll see when I do this that the other distributions show the filtered and unfiltered results together, allowing you to quickly spot any differences in distributions across the data set. When you're done with the filter, you can clear it easily. For dimension columns, meaning columns that are strings or booleans or other non-numeric values, a brush doesn't make sense. In those cases, we provide a simple select control to select the categories you want with the same effect on the rest of the data set as using the histogram brush. Again, we can clear the filter easily. But there's a second kind of chart available if your query returns date time data, a time series representation of the average value of a column over time. As you might expect, this is only available on numeric columns. Clicking the time series icon on the chart will switch it over. You can hover the chart to see the change in value over time. And if we filter another column, you'll see the filtered value overlaid on top of the unfiltered value. We've introduced more features that aren't so focused on data visualization as well. We have a generic text search filter at the top of the table that'll change the display of rows to only show rows that contain the text you search for anywhere in the row. Notice it does not filter the results, but only the display. On the other side of the table, in the footer of each column, you can get summary statistics for each column with stats like cardinality and count for non-numeric columns, and mean, median, min, max, etc. for numeric columns. We have some more standard features that you would expect from any data table. You can see the data type of the column by hovering this icon. You can see longer values on hover and copy them by clicking the copy button. You can resize the columns and sort the rows by column value. I hope you found this quick walkthrough of data exploration features in Flink SQL Workspaces UI useful. I encourage you to sign up for Confluent Cloud, and try it out to see how it can help you explore and understand your data streams better. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and happy streaming.